National Voyage. Use points to build a God-class fleet. Chapter 31. Tie me back this troublesome dwarf. Qin Feng's gaze pierced the night, sending chills down the dwarf's heart. At this moment, this dwarf monster less than half the height of a man, naked, crawled out from the remains of the flame goblin's corpse. The fragments of the huge goblin's corpse are like a hill to it. Hills of bright red, viscous, foul-smelling flesh. The reason why the gnome was buried under the fragments of the flame goblin's body was because it had been hiding inside the flame goblin's body. Manipulating the behavior of flame goblins. After Urza chopped off the flame goblin's limbs, the dwarf fell and was crushed by the stump. At this time, Urza did it on purpose. Neither did the dwarf monster be hurt, but also suppressed its mobility so that it would not take the opportunity to escape. Human beings, they actually destroyed the fourth tier lord I carefully raised. I will take revenge, you wait for me. The dwarf monster's small body, which is less than half the height of a person, has just crawled halfway out of the mountain of corpses and sea of blood. Whoosh. An icy steel cable was thrown, and its upper body was firmly trapped, and it was impossible to escape with its wings. What? Just now, the dwarf monster was talking about turning around for revenge, but he was tied up in a blink of an eye and became a prisoner. This made it very disappointed and angry. Smelly woman. How dare you tie me up? Do you know who this uncle is? Snapped. The loud and crisp slap resounded through the sea. The head of the rumpolier was knocked to one side, and the warm palm prints were extremely conspicuous. It looks like a hot iron block is branded on the face. Shut up for the old lady. Urza slapped the midget and cast a stern look. This time, the arrogant dwarf monster was directly defeated. It said nothing. However, near the surrounding shelters, those elite goblins who were waiting for an opportunity suddenly rushed in by boat. There are a large number, at least a hundred or so big ships. The babbling screams that belonged exclusively to the goblins surrounded the level 3 captains. The captains panicked. Facing successive crises and frights, their psychological endurance is almost on the verge of collapse. School and elders, haven't you mentioned that the novice sea territory is so scary? It is written in the book, this is a safe sea area for newcomers to practice and adapt to sailing life. It turns out that everything in the book is a lie. Throw the table. Charge along with the elite monsters near Goblin High Island. The ordinary goblins and elite goblins on the periphery who have not been eliminated are also besieged. Yay, Babel, the momentum is huge. Level 1 and 2 captains, who had rushed in along the outer gap to provide support, unexpectedly became targets of siege. It's over. Why did the group of goblins behind you suddenly surround you? I didn't think so before, but now I look at it, why are there so many green skin monsters? Don't worry, there are still fleets coming from all directions outside, and someone will meet them. Don't worry about the fart, when they come here, we will all burp. I'm so scared. God Chin, help. When the densely packed enemy warships swarmed behind him, the wave of green goblins rushed to the end. The low-level captains instinctively drove the speed of the fleet to the limit. Everyone didn't discuss it, but they all involuntarily gathered towards Chin Feng. Is this the call of the flame goblin before his death? Qin Feng looked around at the goblin army that was rushing towards him crazily. He finally understood what the flame goblin's last cry before it fell was. It's a goblin summoning skill. Goblin call, as the leader of the goblins, call all the goblins to launch a siege to the target. Qin Feng remembered clearly that the flame goblin's panel carried this skill. Judging from the current performance of all goblins, it is undoubtedly the result of activating the, goblin call. Chin Feng. God Chin. Help us. Wang Fu Zhou, who wanted to use his family power to surpass Chin Feng before. In just a few minutes, he was on his scorched hull, shouting to Chin Feng for help. There are too many goblins. God Chin, can you save everyone? Liang Ruiyu also looked at Chin Feng, her eyes full of helplessness. Before that, she had been thinking about rescuing Lin Xiaoyu, but now she couldn't protect herself. It's really unpredictable. But she still believed that if it was Qin Feng, there must be a way. Only Qin Feng, the young man who easily killed the Lord Level monsters, can help everyone out of danger. Qin Feng stood on the deck of the exquisite and gorgeous treasure, listening to the screams of the goblins around, as well as the screams and help of other captains. He didn't say anything. He just nodded slightly towards Uyang Ruiyu. 
it is considered to have agreed to her request to save lives. It's just a trivial matter, why not do it? First of all, he can reap the favors of everyone, especially the favors of people like Uyang Ruiyu, which will be used more or less in the future. Secondly, the rookie captains are the leaks that can bring him rich sea source stones in his future plans, and saving them will indirectly increase his wealth. More importantly, killing these goblins is very easy. It was originally used as an experience package for Christy, killing three birds with one stone. It's good if all of them are rushing towards me, lest we go around looking for and chasing and killing them. Just right, kill them all at once. Qin Feng's deep eyes showed a coldness. He glanced at Christy, who was always by his side, and nodded to Fang Mo Chi. Christy jumped up and onto the highest point of the treasure's mast. The ice blue cloak flutters with the wind, and holding up the golden quality Kanglang staff, her proud and fiery figure can be seen at a glance. In the next second, the power of magic was released like a raging torrent from the orb of the Kanglang staff. Goddess of Ice and Snow. Give your loyal believers the magic power of Zihan, destroy the evil enemies, and protect the innocent people. The tactful and sacred singing floats in the night sky with the wind. Distant and mysterious. Magic Extreme Cold Domain. Instantly. Numerous extremely cold ice crystals fell from the sky. As if a meteorite fell, boundless. The sky is full of ice crystals, pouring down like heavy rain, and there is nowhere to hide. Thousands of ice crystals smashed down at high speed, cracked and exploded on the sea surface. Cause high damage. The treasure sailed towards the densely packed goblin warships, and the killing began. Ah. It's so cold. Whoa. What a terrible hail. Wow. Run for your life. Fight. Leave it to the elite goblins. Can't escape. Goblin summons. Force. In the chaos and screams, the ice and snow in the sky directly caused the temperature to drop suddenly, and a thin layer of ice was frozen on part of the sea. Christie's ultimate move is the extremely cold field. Although the damage range is 1000 meters in diameter, it is difficult to directly clear all the goblins. But fortunately, the flame goblin issued a skill before he died, and the goblin summoning effect. All the blue-faced goblins belonging to this island were forced to gather here, which actually helped Christie a lot. She just needs to stand quietly on the mast of the treasure, and release the spell gracefully. As the treasure moved towards the goblins rushing around, the coverage of the extremely cold field almost covered all the goblins. Christie's mana is enough for her to release the extremely cold domain three times in a row. In 30 seconds, all the goblins of the blue-faced family were wiped out like moths on the ice. This woman's magic, can be called terrifying. Cold and beautiful appearance, extremely cold magic power, I really envy Chin Feng for having such a perfect woman. Simply superb. HMPH, Chin Feng Zhezh is mine, even this frosty beauty can't take it away. Please, you are indeed a rare beauty with a score of 8, but Christy has a score of 9 or more, okay. Witnessed Christie's unreasonably powerful extremely cold domain spells. The almost completely frozen sea surface, frozen waves, and icy goblin corpses constitute a chilling picture. Fortunately, Chin Feng is a human race. If he stood on the opposite side, how miserable would we be? This is the feeling that all rookie captains feel in their hearts. After this battle, they lost the courage to challenge Chin Feng. Dragon Gunner go to the island to search for all the supplies in the goblin territory. Treasure, go to the position bay. Facing the overwhelming victory, Chin Feng was not dazzled by the victory at all. He always remembered coming here, and there was another purpose. Rescue Lin Xiaoyu. Before killing the goblin mobs, Chin Feng hinted to Christy not to hurt all the rookie captains. Therefore, no human being will die in this ice and snow battle feast. Only mages who have reached a high level of magic control can achieve such subtle magic operations. No one was hurt, but the sea will still freeze. Lin Xiaoyu and Guo Jia hid in the secret harbor. The surrounding sea water was frozen, and the ships could not sail out. In fact, most captains face this dilemma. Only treasure under Qin Feng's command can come and go freely on this frozen sea. Because there's Christie on board. She can make treasure ignore the obstacles of ice and snow on the way forward. Soon, the treasure sailed to the location where it was positioned. A small shore is covered with a large area of vegetation. Really good place to hide. 
especially at night, as long as you don't make any noise, it's hard to be noticed. No wonder so many elite goblins didn't notice them. Chin Feng looked towards this bay, and his eyes fell on the thickest overhanging vegetation. Don't worry, the goblins have all been wiped out, and they are safe now. Chin Feng faintly shouted in that direction. After the words fell, the ice around the bay melted rapidly. Christy can not only release extremely cold spells, but also control the melting of the frost formed by these spells. Wow, it's amazing. Look, Xiaoyu, the ice on the sea has disappeared. Guo Jia pulled Lin Xiaoyu in surprise and said. Seeing this, Lin Xiaoyu still hid behind the vegetation and asked tentatively. Chin Feng, is that you? The killing that happened outside just now was a huge movement. Lin Xiaoyu, who was hiding here, could more or less feel that this battle was a crushing situation. If the human captain wins the final victory, she couldn't imagine that besides Qin Feng who kept swiping the screen to announce the achievements, who else could do this? Maybe she didn't even realize it herself. When she said Qin Feng's name, her heartbeat quickened unconsciously. Qin Feng smiled brightly. It's me who doesn't change my name when I go or sit down. Your friend, Qin Feng. Ah, Xiaoyu, Qin Feng's voice is really nice. Guo Jia became Nympho out of nowhere. He really came to save you. At the moment of crisis, Lin Xiaoyu just talked casually to comfort Guo Jia. Unexpectedly, Qin Feng actually rushed to the rescue. Lin Xiaoyu's face immediately became hot. After confirming that it was Qin Feng, it naturally meant that the outside world was safe. Lin Xiaoyu and Guo Jia's boat finally emerged slowly from the cover of vegetation. Their boat approached Qin Feng steadily. Qin Feng, thank you very much. Lin Xiaoyu gazed at Qin Feng affectionately with her phoenix eyes, bit her thin lips lightly, and continued. I don't know how to thank you for such a great kindness, why not? You might as well take this. Saying that, Lin Xiaoyu took out a delicate jade pendant with frankincense from her bosom, and gently handed it to Qin Feng. The luster and material of this jade pendant are unique. It is an extremely precious thing at a glance. Moreover, the jade pendant itself has a special meaning and is often of great value. But this time, facing the treasure scent, Qin Feng chose to refuse. This jade pendant is hidden deep in your arms. It must be of great significance to you to protect it so carefully. A gentleman does not steal what others love. Qin Feng politely declined, then turned around and commanded the treasure to leave. All the crew members under the command obey the order take the goblin supplies and the dwarf monster, and return. Pack up the battlefield. He knew that he was going to gain another wave of battlefield settlement experience. Lin Xiaoyu tightly clasped the warm jade pendant with her slender hands. She looked at the back of Qin Feng's fleet going away, her eyes sparkling. There are indescribable emotions in my heart. Xiaoyu, you even have the heirloom jade pendant you wore since childhood. Guo Jia and Lin Xiaoyu have known each other since childhood. Although they didn't go to the same high school when they grew up, they are still good on weekdays. She knew that Lin Xiaoyu's jade pendant was extremely precious since she was a child. And Lin Xiaoyu cherishes and loves it very much. Thinking of this, Guo Jia was stunned, as if he saw something. After a while she muttered. Qin Feng is really different from other boys. The treasure is in front of him, but he doesn't accept it. I really don't understand what kind of character he is. However, it just so happened that Xiaoyu also kept your heirloom jade pendant, everyone is happy. Guo Jia talked to himself alone. Lin Xiaoyu looked affectionately into the distance quietly. Near Gobu Lin High Island, thousands of rookie captains also watched the great god in their hearts leave. The scene was silent. This Qin god who comes and goes like the wind always gives them a sense of mystery that they dare not approach. After a long time, when the rookie captain smashed the ice with cannonballs, they began to search Gobu Linhai Island. But what else is left on the island that Qin Feng searched beforehand? Everyone just sighed. The bamboo basket fetching water was all in vain. Only in the distant night, in the misty mist, Qin Feng smiled brightly. There are a few silver materials, and there are also a lot of bronze materials, ha ha ha, this trip is not in vain. Qin Feng counted the items and props that the Dragonman Gunner collected from Gob Lin High Island and was satisfied. This wave of points has already earned a lot of money. Since most of the items stored by the goblins were food and clothing items, they had little effect on Qin Feng and his fleet. 
These materials are indeed only suitable for recycling to the system and exchange for points. There are only two items of bronze quality, which are somewhat useful. Combo Firebolt, Bronze Quality. When using a firecracker to attack an enemy, the attack effect must be triggered twice. Equipment Damage. 80. Dragon Roar Fort, Bronze Quality. Ship Cannon Type. When the ship itself has Dragon Attribute Damage, the Dragon Attribute Damage will be increased by 100%. That's right, they are all the best in Bronze Quality. If these two props are sold to the system, it seems a bit extravagant. Chin Feng stared at the two props and quickly made arrangements. Slap. The combo firecracker has been successfully placed in the tianzun.com slash reward post. The content of the reward post has been changed, please confirm whether to modify it. Chin Feng quickly revised the information in the reward order. In the reward condition, the person who killed the most goblins was changed to the person who killed the second most. Unexpectedly, Chin Feng himself reached the top of the goblin killing list by accident. But he will not be opportunistic because of this, and he will be complacent about saving a bronze quality weapon. On the contrary, his behavior is very generous and generous. Those who win the hearts of the people win the world. It is also applicable to Chin Feng, at least, his actions will greatly help his future business. Let me ask, who would like to cooperate with a short-sighted person for a long time? Chin Feng is well aware of the truth. Therefore, even if he could save the cost of giving away bronze weapons, he still gave generously. The pattern between people is slowly being pulled apart in this way. At the same time, the newcomer chat channel became lively for the first time after the battle. Go to the post in the newcomer area to see, it is said that God Chin has already issued a reward. What? Isn't Chin Shen himself the number one in the kill list, why bother to give rewards? Hey, who would have thought that Chin Shen would be so courageous, and directly change the conditions of the reward to rewarding the second place? I admire it. If it were me, if I could save an expensive bronze weapon, I wouldn't give it away for nothing. God Chin's layout is really big. Look, who is the lucky one who ranks second on the kill list? Congratulations, you have received the reward of Chin Feng's reward post, Combo Firecrackers. A reminder sounded in Yang Ruoyu's mind. A bronze weapon was obtained by accident, which made this noble beauty of the Yang family look surprised. Bronze quality weapons, this kid Chin Feng is really showing off. Just right, the musketeers on my ship are lacking in attack, and now the combat power can be improved several levels. When Yang Ruiyu was pleasantly surprised, she thought of something again, and a proud look appeared on her face. HMPH, Miss Ben won't take this weapon for nothing. For this love, let Miss Ben owe you first, and I will pay you back sooner or later. Uyang Ruiyu ranked second on the kill list. She is a self-aware girl, of course she knows that if Chin Feng is not generous, how can she, who is ranked second, have the opportunity to win such a high-end weapon? The arrogant nature of the daughter of the big family was revealed at this moment. She never wanted to accept gifts from others in vain. This favor, she alone, silently remembers in her heart. Dot dot dot. Chin Feng over there. He placed the combo firecracker after the reward post, and didn't care about it anymore. After all, he didn't care who the equipment was sent to in the end. Compared with the combo firecrackers, another bronze prop, the Dragon Roar Fortress, has a greater effect on his fleet. The blue dragon is entrenched on the glyph imprinted fort. The muzzle looks like a giant dragon with a big mouth, and its shape is mighty and domineering. If the ship has its own dragon attribute, the damage will increase by 100%. Facilities and props specially made for the dragon fleet. Coincidentally, the Kanglin Dragon Flame under Qin Feng's command happens to have dragon attribute damage. Whether it is its hull shape or boat skills, it is in line with the style of the dragon. The damage of the Kanglong Flame belongs to the dual attributes of dragon and fire, and the bonus effect of the Dragon Roar Fort can fully take effect. Once equipped with the Dragon Roar Fort as the main gun, the damage of the Kanglong Flame skill will increase by 100%, reaching 6,000 points of damage. The upgrade of the ship skill effect, in addition to improving the quality, is a bonus to the ship's facilities and weapons. The Kanglin Dragon Flame is equipped with the Dragon Roar Fort as the main gun. Chin Feng gave the order, and soon the sailors installed new main guns. 
The moment the Dragon Roar Fort was installed, a long roar groaned straight into the sky. This is a unique manifestation of the effect of the Dragon System bonus. Great, the Dragon Attribute Damage bonus is in effect. After Qin Feng handled the two bronze quality props, he looked at the vast sea area. He thought to himself, the settlement of the goblin battle is about to begin, right? I don't know if these experiences are enough for Frost Beauty Christie to upgrade. In any case, she should be in a much happier mood, right? Once a woman is in a good mood, some jealousy will be temporarily put aside. I don't know if this statement is accurate. However, Qin Feng understood it this way. The combat experience has begun to be settled. Huh. Look, what is that white thing in the sky? Like a long fluorescent river. It's so spectacular. This is the first time I've seen such a sight. What long river? That is the experience light ball. Ah. Such a spectacular scene, how much experience does it take to gather the light sphere? Captains who are still near the goblin islands. Looking up at the long white river rushing away from the top of their heads, they all exclaimed. That was the effect of the gathering of countless experience light spheres. In this dark night, it is especially eye-catching. And the direction of this long river flowing endlessly is the direction Qin Feng left not long ago. Qin God, that is the experience value of Qin God's fleet. Terrible, is this enough for me to harvest monsters for a year? Ranked first in the kill list, it deserves its name. The vast river of experience is like a glowing horse, moving back and forth. Fly through the night sky, across the sea. In the end, it turned into a flow of light and converged on the two ships under Qin Feng's command. All crew members and heroes are bathed in the torrent of experience. Treasure female elves, dragon gunners, harvest the experience of the part of the enemy destroyed by the ship. Urza, enjoy the experience of killing flame goblins. Christy, on the other hand, exclusively enjoys the huge amount of experience points from harvesting the goblin army in a large area at the end. Everyone in a piece of white light, each blooming the light of upgrading. Christy even flickered incredible lights continuously. Promoted two levels in a row. Qin Feng was surprised and delighted. Before, I was still worried that the experience points of these goblins were not enough for her to upgrade. Unexpectedly, the amount of experience far exceeded his imagination. Christy went up two levels in a row, rushing directly from LV.2 to LV.4. Christy looked at herself in surprise with her clear eyes, and then glanced at Urza next door with a little arrogance. As if showing off your charm to your rivals. Urza was a little envious, but curled her lips, pretending not to care. Christy raised the corners of her proud and provocative mouth and approached Qin Feng with joy on her face. Look, Captain, I've reached level 4. The me now, I won't lose to that barbaric woman at all. The savage woman she mentioned naturally refers to the beautiful hero Ursha who is also under Qin Feng's command. This time, her level suppressed Urza, and Anxi was finally able to win Qin Feng's attention again. Urza was beside her, and Christy could hear her words clearly. She snorted softly, turning her head away on purpose. Her long red hair is like fire, so why not the pride and competitiveness in her heart? Qin Feng patted the head of the little white rabbit-like beauty in front of him lightly, and said softly. Really, Christy, you are really great. Thank you, Captain, for your compliment, Christy is so happy. I like you the way you are now. Captain, you. Christy lowered her blushing face and twitched. Qin Feng was slightly taken aback. I just remembered that this was the first time I had praised Christy so bluntly. No wonder she was so shy. She is a cold-hearted woman with a lovely heart. Look, have you done what I promised you? Qin Feng was worried that Christy's heartbeat was too fast and he would faint, so he changed the subject on purpose. Uh-huh. Qin Feng stared at Christy dotingly. But she only made a soft hum, but she was always embarrassed to lift her lowered head. Urza watched the scene in front of her quietly. This time, it was her turn to be jealous. Urza had just been summoned by Qin Feng and arrived not long ago. She admits that she is not tempted by this captain, although she has to admit that this young captain does have something special. Even so, Urza still believed that, as a brave knight, she would never fall in love with a man easily. But for some reason, she saw Qin Feng flirting with Christy. There are mixed feelings in my heart, as if I have overturned the jar of vinegar. 
my heart beat faster, and even the feeling of breathing tightened, making me feel uncomfortable. She finally couldn't stand it anymore and couldn't help interrupting the conversation between Chin Feng and Christy. Hey, I said Captain, don't you plan to take care of the upgrade status of other crew members? And the golden treasure chest I got when I helped you kill the flame goblins. I don't think you will be interested. When Christy boarded the Kenglin dragon flame, the woman who ruined the atmosphere rolled her eyes. Seeing this, Chin Feng smiled. Shall I come one by one? What you said reminded me that the silver treasure map has to be unlocked quickly. There will be a secret trial in a few days. After the trial, it will be sent out of the novice sea territory, and the treasures in the silver treasure map will no longer be available. At dawn, it was the fifth day of the novice period. For Qin Feng, the silver treasure map is time limited. Once he leaves the novice sea, due to the isolation and protection restrictions set by the Shengxia Empire, it is impossible for him to return to the novice sea in the future, and there is no need for him to return to the novice sea. And before that, if he didn't get the treasure in the treasure map, the treasure would be buried forever in a corner of the novice sea territory. For Qin Feng at this stage, the treasure behind the silver treasure map is quite attractive. Moreover, the process of digging for treasure and the moment when the treasure is discovered are the most exciting. This is also one of the reasons why the sea is always full of mystery and excitement. The treasures of mystery and surprises have attracted batch after batch of captains to go to the ocean and overcome obstacles. Hold the treasure back. Alusa, go and bring the gnomes to the deck. I'll be on the Kenglin Dragon Flame later, and I have something to ask it. As soon as Qin Feng's order came out, Alusa immediately turned around and went to work. Qin Feng liked her vigorously and swiftly. During the interval between Ursha's visit to the cell, Qin Feng took Arusa's suggestion and briefly inspected all the crew members. First of all, the heroes, the blood and magic of Urza and Christy have been greatly improved. And because of Christy's two consecutive promotions, the gap in blood volume between her and Urza has narrowed significantly. Hero, Christy. Grade, second grade. Level, LB.4. Health volume, 4,500. Magic, 8,000. Hero. Urza. Grade, third grade. Level, LB.2. Health volume, 6,000. Magic, 1,800. These two women are very resistant to beatings now. And Christie's astonishing amount of mana makes her spellcasting endurance even better. Chin Feng checked the attributes of the crew again. The blood volume of the treasure female elf is increased to 450 points, and the mana is 300 points. The Dragon Gunner has reached 700 blood points and 250 magic points. For the crew, this is quite a premium attribute. The sound of heavy objects falling to the ground came from the deck of the Kenglin Longyan. The dwarf monster was thrown onto the deck heavily by Urza, and fell to pieces. Oh, my waist is about to break. The gnome's small body squirmed and groaned. After being slapped loudly by Urza, it didn't dare to yell. Chin Feng quickly set foot on the Kenglin Dragon Flame. The sailor brought him a comfortable seat, and he sat down leisurely. Chin Feng looked at the midget monster with cold eyes. Are you a dwarf from the undead? Chin Feng saw that the body of the dwarf monster was partially rotten, and even some exposed skeletons could be clearly seen. But it doesn't look like a real undead, at least it lacks the aura of death. Hey hey, human, are you scared? When the dwarf monster heard it, this human actually knew the undead. The originally low-browed face suddenly became a little arrogant. It thought to itself, maybe it could use the deterrent power of the undead to frighten this human kid. If you still know how powerful the undead are, why don't you let me go? Otherwise, after I report to the undead lord in the adjacent sea area, your fleet will be doomed. Oh, the undead lord. Qin Feng's face remained calm, and his voice didn't change in the slightest. This surprised the Rumpolier. While speaking, Qin Feng took out the silver treasure map, unfolded it and put it in his palm. Then he winked at Urza beside him. Bang! With a flash of the knife, a deep wound was cut on the gnome's fleshy arm. Urza drew the knife so fast that the blood didn't even have time to flow out. After a half-second delay, blood sprayed out like a red fountain. Laugh! A blood injection happened to be sprinkled on the screen of the treasure map. Hiss. It sounded like a flame burning dry wood. After the dwarf monster's blood was sprinkled on the silver treasure map, the substance on the blood made the mist on the treasure map disperse in all directions. 
In the end, the purple weapon that blocked the contents of the treasure map was forced out from the treasure map. Fled to the sky above. Chin Feng's eyes lit up. The treasure map has been successfully unlocked. Hee hee, will the undead have blood? What the hell are you? You haven't really recruited. Chin Feng turned his gaze to the dwarf monster, and shouted in a stern voice. Chin Feng's voice and aura shook the Rumpoli's entire body. I, I, I am a half-dead. Shell Town. One of the large islands dotted across the endless sea. These large islands are frequently visited by ships because they are located in shipping hubs or arteries. Because of such a lively island, no matter who occupies it, it cannot avoid the patronage of other captains. With the baptism of time, it gradually transformed into a public island open to the outside world. It is suitable for the fleet passing through here to dock, repair and take a rest. This also makes the economy of these islands more active, especially the docks, taverns, casinos, markets and so on. This type of large island has a unified name in the endless sea, Sea City. Shell Town is one of them. In the Sea City, order is mainly maintained by the local armed forces in the city. The bustling Sea City has a city lord and guards. Sea cities in neighboring countries are even more protected by national forces. However, the relatively weaker Haishang city is presided over by the most famous old man in the area, and the people spontaneously form a militia. But most of the time, armed forces are useless. Because the captains who come and go will abide by the customary rules, do not start a war in the sea city. Although Shell Town is not considered prosperous, it is protected by the power of the Shengxia Empire because it is the closest sea city to the Shengxia Empire. Sustained law and order, material supply, and human resource strength are all the best within tens of thousands of kilometers nearby. This also attracted countless fleets to dock in Shell Town for rest and entertainment. Due to its close proximity to the Shengxia Empire, there are many Shengxia captains in Shell Town. At this time, the old tavern in Shell Town was buzzing with people. After a long period of sea adventures, fighting, and killing monsters, everyone had a rare short-term relaxation. Every captain who came to the tavern drank happily and told each other the novel stories they encountered at sea. The tavern was noisy and lively. Everyone must raise the volume when speaking, otherwise even friends sitting at the same table cannot hear their own voice clearly. Hey! Old Lee, have you heard that this year's newcomers are quite fierce? That's right, Brother Shui. You've even inquired about news about isolated areas like Shinrenhaiyu. A middle-aged man with glasses patted the bearded shoulder of his tablemate and laughed loudly. It's from that old friend of the Shengxia Empire again, right? When the old friend was mentioned, the bearded man surnamed Shui looked a little embarrassed. Another young man at the same table immediately answered. I just said why old brother Shui has disappeared these few days, so he went on a tryst with that quietly. One thing to say, Brother Shui's vision is really good. That woman's figure and appearance are top-notch. The man with glasses smiled and said. And she's a married woman, he he he. It's still our old Brother Shui who is amazing, so this is the best. Having said that, everyone laughed. The three of them raised the barrel wine glasses in a very tacit understanding and touched them heavily. Gudong Gudong, throwing his head back and drinking wildly. After drinking all the spirits in the glass in one breath, the bearded man patted his stomach, hiccuped, and said. Hi. Just kidding, ah, let's continue talking about the newcomer sea area. Okay, okay. The man with glasses adjusted the frame, and the young man responded again and again. Enough is enough for joking, and it would be a bit too much to continue talking. They all understand this truth. Moreover, they are indeed very curious about the newcomer sea territory. Walking around the Shengxia Empire in the past few days, they more or less heard something about the newcomer sea territory. But it's also a fragment of a star and a half. All I know is that this year's newcomers are progressing very fast in their exploration and promotion, and it seems that a famous figure has appeared. They couldn't find out more detailed information. After all, the Shinran Sea area is a protected area set up by the Shengxia Empire. The captains and forces from outside cannot enter, and the newcomers inside cannot contact the outside world. Any news is almost sealed inside the newcomer sea. Even Tianzun.com has created a dedicated section for newcomers, and outside captains do not have permission to view it. 
However, there is no seamless obstacle in the world. Because the Shinran Sea area is a protection mechanism set up by the Shenxia Empire. Then, the relevant personnel of the Shenxia Empire, unintentionally or intentionally, will more or less reveal some interesting things in the newcomer sea. This can also be regarded as the topic of conversation after dinner in the Shenxia Empire. And the concubine of the bearded Captain Shui is the staff member of the department that manages the newcomer sea area. Therefore, what he got was first-hand information, absolutely true. Brother Shui, it's just our brothers here, so don't be a fool. Yeah, tell me quickly. I've been waiting impatiently. Under the urging of the two, the bearded man's face became a little mysterious, and motioned for the two to come closer. He deliberately lowered his voice, as if he was afraid that others would hear him. A few days ago, my friend said that someone in the newcomer sea region has already been promoted to level 2. And also killed the second tier elite monster. Hearing this, the man with glasses and the young man looked at each other and exclaimed. What? Level 2. It took 10 days for the emperor's upgrade record back then. What kind of person is the emperor? The dragon and the phoenix among people are the kings of the sea. This kind of record is also out of reach for captains like them who traverse the sea. How could it be broken so easily? And the gap between the refreshed records is not small. After all, this was news a few days ago, and the rookies at that time had just awakened not long ago. Is this newcomer a god? The young man couldn't help but sigh. At this time, a middle-aged man at the next table seemed to overhear their conversation. Turning his head, he said disdainfully. Your news is outdated. The latest news, there are at least 20 level 2 captains in the new BC area, and level 3 captains have also appeared. This newcomer took off directly. The face of the man with glasses turned pale. He recalled the ups and downs of his upgrade experience, stumbled and stumbled for more than a year before barely getting to level 3. He even suspected that he was not in the same world as these newcomers. It would be great if I catch up with this class and become a newcomer. As a young man who just turned 6, looking at his age of 30 soon, he feels sad. If human sovereign receives this news, how will he react? The middle-aged man at the next table shrugged and said with a bad smile. Being easily broken by a rookie won't feel good on anyone's head, right? Ha 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 ha. The uncle who was at the next table with the middle-aged man let out a hearty laugh. His gray goatee was stained with dripping wine, and his plump and handsome features were slightly drunk. It's true that the waves behind the Yangtze River push the waves ahead, hiccup. The Eagle Sauce Kingdom has been strong in the endless sea for decades, and our Shenxia Empire has been suffering from a lack of talent. The potential of this group of newcomers is so astonishing, it is really a blessing from God Shah. Hiccup. Several middle-aged people at the same table were smiling. Yes. Shen Sha finally got a genius, presumably considering the human emperor Lin Tian Nan's stomach, he should be happy. When these children officially go to sea and make some noise in the endless sea, the Yingzhong country should be in a panic, right? The people here analyze it, and it seems to make sense. The bearded man at the original table waited for three people, nodding repeatedly. I even felt that the group of people next door had much more knowledge than ordinary people. And each of them looks extraordinary, and their level is very high visible to the naked eye. Especially this gray-bearded uncle whose appearance and demeanor are like the leader of a big ship group. Ha 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 ha. Enjoy your drink today, hiccup. The old man's stomach can't hold it anymore, go back. The gray-bearded man staggered up while leaning on the table, his movements looked clumsy. This is completely inconsistent with his appearance and temperament. What surprised the bearded and glasses man even more was that. The gray-bearded uncle managed to stand up, but he still hadn't stabilized his center of gravity. Suddenly he hugged his belly, leaned forward and bent down. Wow. Crash la 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 la. Spit out. The taverns and other entertainment places in Shell Town are brightly lit all night. And the news of the newcomer sea region is still spreading from the Shenxia Empire to the sea. It caused the hearers to be shocked again and again. Dot dot dot. The sky is getting brighter. Newcomer sea area. On the vast sea on the return voyage, the breeze was gentle and the waves were calm. The crew members got up early and began to work diligently in their respective positions. Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Hello, Captain. 
Facing the rays of the rising sun, Chin Feng walked out of the cabin. The crew immediately greeted him enthusiastically. This is a warm courtesy that can only be enjoyed by an excellent and respected and loved captain. In just a few days, Chin Feng inadvertently established an incomparably tall image in the hearts of the crew. Hi everyone, it's been hard work. Chin Feng waved his hand and greeted him politely. Of course, Christie's ice cold and glamorous eyes also instantly turned cute, and she briefly greeted Chin Feng. Today's breakfast was delivered to the room by Christie himself just now. If she hadn't been tempted by Chin Feng, how could such a powerful and glamorous female mage be willing to do such things as servants? Chin Feng couldn't understand Christie's heart. But he still has important things to do today, so after a few words of praise, he went straight to the Kenglin Dragon Flame. Christie was left blushing, pouted with a little resentment. Chin Feng stepped onto the deck of the Kenglin Dragon Flame, and saw Ursha's figure walking out of the cell. Aluza. Master Captain. How? Did something come out of that gnome's mouth? It turned out that the important thing Chin Feng said was to see if the gnome confessed to the messenger behind him. Urza and several crew members were responsible for interrogating and torturing it all night. I was so intimidated by you, Captain, last night, it's much easier to torture me. Urza shrugged, a delicate smile appeared on the corner of her mouth. In the middle of the night, that gnome has already recruited everything. Chin Feng saw that the armor Ursha was wearing was still stained with blood. When she was tortured last night, she hit hard. There was no change on Chin Feng's face, and he continued. Oh, it seems that this guy is really a soft persimmon. He he, it will explode. Urza added with a smile. Chin Feng's crotch tightened, and he looked at the smiling Alusa, always feeling that what she said sounded weird. Cough. Chin Feng coughed twice to adjust his mood. Now that it's been told, tell me. Well, good captain. So, during the overtime work on the Kanglin Dragon Flame, Urza told Chin Feng in detail the information revealed by the gnomes, and the brutal scene of the torture last night. Even when it comes to the torture session, Urza's eyes visibly twinkle. What a natural violent maniac. However, Chin Feng didn't care too much about these small details. From Urza's narration, Chin Feng roughly figured out about the goblins of the blue-faced tribe. It turns out that the undead fleet has noticed the novice sea territory many years ago. They found that many low-level humans appear here every year. And as long as these humans are strangled in the novice sea, the pressure on the monsters outside the novice sea will be reduced. Moreover, there are still many treasures buried in the novice sea territory, which have not yet been discovered. The undead are trying to take over the island and hunt for treasure in this area. However, due to the restrictions of the newcomer sea area, high-level monsters cannot enter it. So, the undead forces in charge of the Shengxia Empire racked their brains and finally came up with a solution. That is to let low-level monsters enter it and do things for themselves. Because the undead are born high-level monsters, they can only become their own puppets by corrupting other races. Rumpelstilt is the puppet. Corruption turned it into a strange new species, half-undead. The lower race of the undead. As a half-dead, it must obey the orders of the undead, otherwise it will be tortured to death by the leader of the undead fleet, Maudlin, who corrupted it. Maudlin, that is, the leader of the power of the undead in the waters surrounding the Shengxia Empire. He is responsible for commanding all the undead in this sea area. According to the description of Rumpelstilt, Maudlin is a strong fighter and quite cunning. The strength is probably above the 8th rank. Maudlin has the uncanny ability to corrupt Rumpelstilts, while also giving it the ability to control fire goblins. That's what's scary about him. That's why the blue-faced goblins behaved so abnormally and aggressively. Under Maudlin's orders, half-dead gnomes manipulated the will and actions of the goblin leader. With the help of warships provided by the undead, an aggressive war was launched against other monsters in the novice sea. In this way, the purpose of occupying the resources in the novice sea area was achieved, and the next step was not to obliterate the newcomers and humans, and it paved the way. Judging from the battle with the blue-faced goblins yesterday. With the strength that goblin has accumulated so far. If it wasn't for Chin Feng's appearance, in a few days, many newbies would probably lose their lives in the goblin fire. The gnome admits that it originally planned to launch an attack on humans within the next two days. 
Fortunately, Captain, you launched an active attack first, which prevented its plan. There was a gleam of admiration in Urza's eyes. Chin Feng led everyone to besiege the Goblin Island this time, and inadvertently saved the lives of countless newcomers. Chin Feng frowned. Since the undead Maudlin wants to spread his influence in the novice sea and kill the new captain. With the strength of a high-level race like the undead, and the power of his leadership position. There is absolutely no need for the gnomes to hide their power and bide their time on the Goblin Island and continue to force them for so many years. With a wave of his hand, arrange for the dwarf monsters to transport a large amount of supplies and weapons within the limits of the novice sea area, and the development of the goblin forces will be greatly accelerated. And these supplies are nothing to Maudlin. If it is true, as the Rumpelstilt said, Maudlin's purpose is to invade the newbie sea area and strangle the newcomers. Then Maudlin's approach is not too smart. But combined with Maudlin's evaluation as a cunning undead, this is obviously wrong. About the low-level and scarce supplies of goblins, and the undead don't support them, did the gnomes say anything? Yesterday Chin Feng counted all the weapons and materials seized and liquidated during the goblin war. Even in the goblin base, they are all low-level props that cannot bear to look directly at. Chin Feng threw it all to the system, turned waste into treasure, and converted it into points. There are currently 62,500 points accumulated in the system, which can be regarded as something that comforts Chin Feng a little. But having said that, the goblin materials are so hip, it is really hard to imagine that there are undead behind them. Chin Feng couldn't figure this out, so he asked the torturer Urza. But Urza also showed doubts, and said. I've asked before. The gnome is just a puppet or an agent. It probably doesn't know Maudlin's real purpose. Perhaps it was also blinded by Maudlin. Urza touched her small and exquisite chin, lowered her eyebrows and thought. Chin Feng's face was serious. What is this fellow Maudlin planning? Chin Feng had a strange premonition in his heart. It is very likely that he will fight with this undead leader in the future, and then ask him in person. However, the opponent is a powerful lord above the 8th rank. Chin Feng can't act rashly now. Continue to improve the combat effectiveness of the fleet. I believe that it won't be long before he will be able to fight against Maudlin. With the system of turning waste into treasure and SSS level talent, he has the confidence. Go, accompany me to the cell. Chin Feng raised his hand, motioning for Elusa to follow him. He intends to ask the Rumpelstilt monster if he knows anything about the contents of the silver treasure map. With more information, he can save some effort when hunting for treasures. But Elusa showed a strange expression on her face, she opened her eyes wide and said. Ship, Captain. Huh. What's the matter? It's useless for you to go to the cell. What happened? Could it be? Chin Feng seemed to have thought of something. Dwarf monster, I have already killed him. Urza sticks out her little tongue, like a little girl admitting her mistake. Beat. Beat to death. Chin Feng thought he had heard wrongly. He stared at the woman with long red hair in disbelief. Her face was so beautiful, but her character was so violent. Although Chin Feng knew a thing or two about Ursha's violent temper. But what I didn't expect was that she was so violent that she could beat the prisoner to death during the torture. That's all. Chin Feng sighed secretly, after all, he was one of the strongest combat forces under his command, and it would not be unusual to kill a dwarf monster. Looking at Urza's bright and moving face, he really couldn't bear to criticize. The dismembered death of the fourth rank Lord Flame Goblin is much worse than being beaten to death in a prison cell, right? Maybe, Urza had already shown mercy when she beat the dwarf to death this time. I'm sorry Captain, I, I really, accidentally. Urza lowered her head, timidly admitting her mistake to Chin Feng. She didn't pay attention, and shot a little harder, and killed the dwarf monster. Well, it will save me a trip to that bloody room. Chin Feng continued. However, this is not an example. Thank you, Captain, I will definitely not make the same mistake again. When Urza heard that Chin Feng didn't blame herself, she raised her head in surprise, her face full of luck and excitement. For a knight like her, being punished and making mistakes by her superiors is more uncomfortable than letting her die. This time, she made a mistake, and Chin Feng did not punish her. Urza's mood rose from the bottom to the top in an instant. Her bright eyes stared straight at the handsome young man in front of her. 
At this moment, a subtle chemical reaction occurred in her feelings for Chin Feng. Chin Feng didn't notice any changes in Arusa. He looked down at the treasure map in his hand, concentrating on exploring the directions marked on the map. There is no extra reminder from the gnome, we are all on our own to find it, and we have to speed up. I thought that since the treasure map was unlocked by the blood of the dwarf monster. Maybe he would know something too. But obviously this way doesn't work. The day after tomorrow is when the secret realm rehearsal starts. Chin Feng must work harder to find the treasure within these two days. This can be regarded as the small goal Chin Feng set for himself. Everyone listens to the order, advances with full horsepower, and follows this direction without stopping. On the treasure map, there is a small boat that is rapidly approaching the treasure area marked in red. Uh huh. Urza nodded repeatedly. Due to his own mistake, the captain asked to speed up the sailing. Urza consciously supervised the sailors who were sailing the boat, not allowing them to slack off. Seeing this scene, Chin Feng felt relieved about the work of the crew. He inadvertently passed the treasure number beside him. Another beauty with a completely different personality under his command was looking at him from afar with small Yuyuan eyes. There are two top beauties in the fleet, Chin Feng feels that his life is still very happy. The system points have already reached 62,500 points, which is enough for Treasure and Christy to improve their quality. When Chin Feng saw Christy, he remembered the arrangement to upgrade the treasure. According to the experience of the Kenglin Dragon Flame, the current treasure is of the highest quality, and it can be completed by spending 5,000 points to upgrade the quality. Extra points are plentiful. If possible, Chin Feng intends to try a new approach this time. Use Fuyu's points to repair the fusion material first, so that the material can reach its best state before fusion. I don't know if this approach will bring any benefit to the effect of improving the quality. This new plan was conceived in Chin Feng's mind. The function of system repair is very powerful. If it is only used to repair injuries and save lives, it will not play its full role. Points are ready. Now it is short of the fusion materials needed to improve the quality. Integrating the top quality treasure, materials and materials of gold quality and above are required to successfully improve the quality. Among the props in Chin Feng's current hands, some have reached the gold quality. Shield Cloak and Wave Staff. Both items are of gold quality. However, their effects are very helpful in actual combat, and it is not the best choice to use them as fusion materials. If other captains had the ability to integrate and improve the quality, they would definitely rush to use any gold equipment to improve the quality of the ship. Because for them, it is really hard to find a gold quality item. As long as the quality of the ships can be improved, the overall combat effectiveness of the fleet can be enhanced, and the long early stage can be overcome, it will be worth it. But Chin Feng is not someone else. In his eyes, it is not that difficult to find a gold quality material suitable for fusion. And as it happens, he's on a treasure hunt. If there are gold quality props in the treasure found this time, it will be perfect. Before the start of the newcomer's secret realm drill, if you have two super high quality ships, then the golden treasure box rewarded by the secret realm is in your pocket. Chin Feng leaned on the railing beside the boat, facing the sea breeze and looking into the distance. So chic. Wait, the golden treasure chest. Ah, did I forget that there are two golden treasure chests in my reward space? Ah, did I forget that there are two golden treasure chests in my reward space? Because the golden treasure chest has always been the top reward in the novice sea area. And almost all of them can only be taken from the newcomer secret realm. This also gave Chin Feng some preconceived illusions. Before the secret realm is open, there is no golden treasure chest. So, after being busy for a while last night, the sleepy Chin Feng fell asleep directly. He completely forgot about the achievement rewards he had obtained. Of course, this is also excusable. Fortunately, Chin Feng remembered it by himself. Otherwise, those two high-level treasure chests that make all the newcomers jealous will be moldy in Chin Feng's place. Even if the golden treasure chest is placed in the entire endless sea full of countless rare treasures, it is a very rare and good thing. To be able to forget such a treasure that everyone sought after. Except for Chin Feng, there is no one else. After all, Chin Feng has a system. Any useless materials are either thrown away or sold by others, but he can redeem points for repair and promotion. 
He also has SSS level talent, leaping and evolving. Others have worked diligently, sailed and explored to save money for 10 years to improve their quality. And he triggered his talent and went up two ranks in a row. Others have worked hard for 10 years, but Chin Feng skipped whoring for nothing in an instant. What's more, he already has a treasure quality warship under his command, the Kenglin Longyan. Therefore, although the golden treasure chest is precious, in Chin Feng's eyes, the impact of this level of treasure has been greatly weakened. Snapped. Although there are various factors that can explain that Chin Feng's forgetting of the golden treasure chest is reasonable. But Chin Feng himself slapped his thigh violently, with an annoyed expression on his face. Hey, why did you forget such an important treasure? My head. Extract the golden treasure chest. Extract from the golden treasure chest. It has been detected that you have two golden treasure chests, would you like to extract them all? Extract all. Chin Feng took all of them without hesitation. What if you leave one in the bonus space and forget about it later? In order to avoid such wasteful things from happening, Chin Feng of course wanted them all. Golden treasure chest asterisk 2, successfully extracted. Two glittering and exquisite treasure chests floated in front of Chin Feng. Is this the golden treasure chest? Chin Feng knew that the golden treasure chest was already the highest quality treasure chest reward in the novice C setting. I thought I could only grab it in the secret realm, but I didn't expect that I had the privilege of opening the box in advance. The eyes staring at the two treasure chests shone brightly. He felt a little excited at this moment. He licked his lips that were dried up by the sea breeze, and silently said in his heart. Open the golden treasure chest. Beep. Something unexpected happened to Chin Feng. The golden treasure chest did not open immediately. Instead, there was a dull and long, beep, bass. Obviously, this is the prompt sound that will be issued when the operation is wrong or the operation cannot be performed. Chin Feng encountered this situation for the first time. He frowned, somewhat puzzled. Can't open the golden treasure chest. No, the owner of this pair of treasure chests is me. Chin Feng recalled the process of obtaining the treasure chest, and it was indeed something rewarded to him by the will of heaven. Why can't it be opened? Just when Chin Feng was at a loss, a sentence popped up in his mind. Reminder. Gold quality treasure chests cannot be opened at regular locations in the newcomer C area. Reminder. Gold quality treasure chests cannot be opened at regular locations in the newcomer C area. Reminder. Gold quality treasure chests cannot be opened at regular locations in the newcomer C area. Say important things three times. The quick-witted Chin Feng understood at once that the regular location in the Newcomer Sea area mentioned in the prompt refers to the novice area other than the Newcomer Secret Realm. It seems that even if Chin Feng got the two golden treasure chests in advance, he couldn't take a look at them. It's better to wait until you enter the Newcomer's Secret Realm and then open it for the first time, so let's see what happens. Is this what you call, delayed gratification? Chin Feng shook his head helplessly, and moved the golden treasure chest intact to the treasure ship, and stored it in the storage cabin. Chin Feng, who walked out of the storage cabin, did not forget to explain to Christy. After we enter the newcomer's secret realm, remember to remind me to come and take these two treasure chests. Okay, my lord captain. Crystal Maiden Christy nodded gently in response, keeping the captain's explanation in mind. The golden treasure chest is in hand, but I can't open it right away to see what's going on. No matter how you say it, Chin Feng's heart is still itchy, the feeling of opening the box is so strange. Just when Chin Feng was still thinking about the golden treasure chest, he felt unfinished. A reminder rang through his mind. Your island production task has been completed, please process the goods in time and arrange corresponding production activities. Unknowingly, the production of equipment on the distant Angmar Island has been completed. Chin Feng can trust the dwarf's craftsmanship. He first let the dwarf artisans who had worked so hard for so long rest to eat and drink to refresh their spirits. Then. Clap clap. After a short operation, Chin Feng skillfully put all the commodities on Angmar Island into the novice trading area of Tianzun.com. Five seconds later, Chin Feng's wallet immediately bulged. 500,000 Haiyuan stones arrived in the account. Chin Feng's eyes lit up, and he looked around the delicate and gorgeous treasure. 
The unusually active treasure female elf beside her was watching Chin Feng, and accidentally made eye contact with Chin Feng. Her little face became rosy immediately, and her two white and smooth thighs couldn't help twisting quietly. Cut. Christy saw the female elf's obsequiousness, and turned her head arrogantly. Chin Feng didn't mind having such an active girl on board, he smiled lightly. Then, the eyes became serious. He patted the bulging purse, and said. Upgrade the treasure number. To upgrade the treasure number to LV.4 this time, you need to consume 500,000 sea source stones. Do you want to continue? Continue. After the voice fell, a piece of pure white light sprinkled from the sky. Cover the treasure and Chin Feng, Christy and others on board together. Congratulations, the treasure number has been upgraded to LV.4. Ship named treasure. Level, LV.4. Quality, best. Halo, greedy halo. Skills, intermediate salvage, elf search. Crew, treasure female elf 20, sailor 20, maid 3. Weapon, fairy treasure book 20, musket 20. Shrouded in pure white light, Chin Feng heard the news that the treasure was successfully upgraded. The number of treasure female elves has increased by 8, and the efficiency of finding materials has been greatly improved. Moreover, after leaving the newcomer sea territory, there is no artificial restriction on the quality of materials. The addition of new members to the treasure fairy will undoubtedly increase Qin Feng's chances of finding high-level treasures. Okay. Qin Feng saw the last of the crew. Maid. This wave of benefits is full. Even the maids are equipped making daily life more convenient and pleasing to the eye. Chin Feng smiled, and the radiance dissipated. Looking around on the treasure, the number of crew members is obviously more. Three maids dressed in black and white lace bowed respectfully to Chin Feng and said very politely. My little girl has met the captain, please take care of me. The three maids were all cute, not only tall and straight, but also a pair of long black silk legs. Anyone who saw it couldn't help but like it. From now on, the daily chores will depend entirely on you. Chin Feng said politely. Hello Captain. Before the greetings were over, there were a few soft and clear greetings from the ship's side, mixed with the mischievous laughter of the girl. Chin Feng raised his eyes and saw the eight new female treasure elves. They were raising their slender and white arms, waving to Chin Feng excitedly. Beautiful. Captain, you are truly blessed. Christy embraced her crisp chest with both hands, and the deep groove exposed from the robe became more three-dimensional and fuller. Her tone and expression were clearly jealous. A pair of big eyes stared at Chin Feng who was waving at the female fairies. Christy saw more and more beauties appearing on the treasure, surrounding her captain. A woman's unique sense of crisis, instantly like the tide of the night, surged from all directions. Her breathing became rapid. Christy was afraid, worried, worried that her beloved captain would be taken away by other women. But what could she do? He is just a hero under Chin Feng's command. Although his status and strength are far higher than those of the crew, he is still only Chin Feng's subordinate after all. If Chin Feng is interested in other women, what right does she have to stop it? Thinking of this, Christy's always noble and arrogant face showed loss and helplessness for the first time. Lu Mei frowned lightly, her heart felt as sad as being pricked by a needle. As if, the heart is bleeding. Christy, what's wrong with you, are you feeling unwell? Chin Feng noticed the strangeness of Christy beside him, and flicked her head with gentle concern. Ah, no, nothing. Christy showed a little panic, and immediately withdrew the disappointed and sad look on her face. As a noble crystal maiden and sorceress, she doesn't want to be seen as vulnerable. Chin Feng's concern was like a ray of sunshine shining into Christie's heart, which rekindled her lost heart. If you have any sad things, you can talk to me. Don't worry, with me here, nothing is difficult. Chin Feng's gentle words warmed Christie's heart. She raised her head to stare at Chin Feng's graceful body, and subconsciously leaned a little towards Chin Feng. Chin Feng's actions made Christie understand that if such a man is missed, there will be no second one in the world. She secretly made up her mind. You must find a way to take down your own captain, Chin Feng. Be his first woman. Otherwise, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Christy thought so in her heart. Her eyes were full of love, Chin Feng's handsome sunny face. Christy allowed her long golden hair to flutter in the cool sea breeze. 
The boat is still galloping across the icy blue waves. Dot, dot, dot. The vast expanse of the sea, unimpeded. Under the guidance of the treasure map, about half a day passed. The fleet under Qin Feng's command approached a broken coast. It was a huge island, what it looked like after it was broken and split. Captain, there is an island ahead. A cry of surprise came from the lookout. Qin Feng unfolded the treasure map in his hand, and the moving boat on the way almost coincided with the red mark. This is it. Everyone listens to the order, find a safe harbor to dock on the island ahead. Treasure lies on this broken shore. How could Qin Feng not be excited when he finally arrived at the place marked by the treasure? His first treasure hunt lifted his spirits. Looking from afar, one can vaguely see the corner of the fragmented island. Qin Feng's eyes showed excitement. I don't know what kind of treasures are waiting for me. The blue dragon flame and the treasure are moored in a safe bay. There are no people around this broken island. There are no traces of intelligent creatures like dwarves and goblins. After Qin Feng ensured that no one would attack the fleet here, he disembarked with two beautiful heroes. The island is broken and ravines are crisscrossed. Even on a large coast, there are countless streams of seawater flowing. Qin Feng was the first to get off the boat and got his feet wet. The sea water was icy cold, and Leng Qin Feng couldn't help shivering his teeth. Hiss. Okay. Qin Feng took a deep breath, but he didn't. This strange hissing sound made his hair stand on end. Hiss. There were a few more sharp and mysterious hisses. Before Qin Feng could react, two slender shadows intertwined with purple and red shot at his two calves at a strange speed. What? The sharp and hard fangs pierced the flesh, and the sharp and severe pain immediately shot up from the calf. It's a poisonous snake. Qin Feng instinctively flicked his legs continuously, but the two small snakes with bright scales gnawed on his legs, biting them hard. No, the captain was attacked by a poisonous snake. Frozen restriction. When Christie was worried about Qin Feng's safety, she quickly raised her hand and remotely activated the ice restraint, which immediately froze and killed a poisonous snake. And Urza also rushed over quickly, and split another poisonous snake in two with a sharp sword. Captain. Urza stared at the two purple-red poisonous snakes that were still twisting on the ground. Such conspicuous colors undoubtedly belong to the highly poisonous species. She quickly reached out to support Qin Feng, for fear that he would fall to the ground due to the onset of snake venom. Although Christy was on the boat, she could see clearly from a distance that the two little snakes were not kind. Her face was full of worry, and the clouds were condensed. Do we have a doctor on board? Where is the antidote for the detoxification? Does Kang Curry have it? Christy asked again and again, but the elves and sailors bowed their heads without saying a word. Obviously, along the way, their fleet had neither doctors nor antidotes. At this moment, Christy panicked completely. Her calm expression finally showed panic because of Qin Feng's safety. What to do? Qin Feng was poisoned, he would die without an antidote. The poisonous snake on the endless sea is no joke. At this moment, something that everyone did not expect happened. Qin Feng was chuckling. Ha 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 ha. The Dragon Man gunners on the ship looked at each other in blank dismay thinking they wouldn't be poisoned so soon, would they? There are all kinds of toxins in the world, some make people faint, some make people die suddenly, some make people mad. But in the eyes of Ursha and Christy, Qin Feng's laughter at this time is not a sign of poisoning and madness. His smile is joyful, relaxed and proud. Yes, Qin Feng was not poisoned. Note, you were attacked by a first order wisteria sea snake, and your body was injected with wisteria snake venom. Wisteria snake venom damages the human body's hematopoietic function, reducing blood volume by 30 points per second for 5 minutes. Can be lethal. The negative effect of the immunity system of the Yellow Emperor's internal classic takes effect. Your poisoning status has been eliminated. Wangdi Neijing. Immune to the negative effects of the poison system. Qin Feng saw that in his character status, the venomous snake fang icon was erased as soon as it appeared. Only then did he laugh out loud. The effect of superior skills showed its strength at this time. With Qin Feng's perfect comprehension, he is now 100% immune to poison effects. In other words, he is not afraid of the deadliest venom of these poisonous snakes at all. If you don't have the Yellow Emperor's internal classic, you will really burp directly. Qin Feng survived with his invincible skills. 
This encounter also made him understand the strength of the Yellow Emperor's internal classic. Especially in the case of being unprepared to be attacked by poison-type skills, it is simply a magic skill that is priceless. People die, but nothing is left. Poison-type skills do terrible damage. Take this Wisteria Snake Venom as an example, because its poisonous damage has a 300 second delay damage. Therefore, in the short period of time when you are recruited, you will lose blood at 30 points per second. Anyone with an antidote or a good healer can take that amount of damage. However, once there is a slight delay, the accumulated poison damage value will become very terrifying. 30 points per second lasting 300 seconds, a full 9,000 points of blood loss damage. Even the current Qin Feng, even with the blessing of the Yellow Emperor's internal classic, has a blood volume of 4,210 points far exceeding his peers. But that's not at all hard enough to resist snake venom. It is conceivable that this killing skill of boiling frogs in warm water cannot be underestimated. Moreover, as far as the current newcomers are concerned, the little snakes on this broken island can kill them instantly. This is just a first order little snake. I don't know what is hidden inside the island. Chin Feng stared at the two killed wisteria sea snakes, and kicked them aside with disdain. Go, follow me, don't be attacked by poisonous snakes. Chin Feng strode forward, protecting the two beauties behind him. Even the blood volume of Christy and Urza couldn't stop the total damage of the snake venom. No wonder everyone hates encountering poisonous monsters. The effect of skills in the early stage is really disgusting. Captain, are you alright? Urza and Christy asked in unison, their eyes showing surprise. Chin Feng nodded. They didn't know the effect of Wangdi's internal classic skills, and Chin Feng didn't bother to talk about it. Follow me quickly, if you fall behind, be careful of being attacked by poisonous snakes. Chin Feng kept walking. Christy and Urza couldn't help getting goosebumps when they thought of the poisonous snakes lurking around. Chin Feng's intentions were obvious. Since he was immune to poison effects, he could act as a human shield reluctantly. It won't hurt anyway. Christy and Urza only need to release their skills carefully and kill the poisonous monsters that appear. Sure enough, there were many poisonous snakes on the way to the depths of the broken island. Christy simply released the range skill. Frost Nova, directly, directly blasting the surrounding bushes. The skill kills the poisonous snakes and can also achieve the deceleration effect. In order to prevent the fish that slipped through the net from launching a surprise attack. Under the deceleration effect of Frost Nova, the snake's movements are visible to the naked eye, and it becomes extremely easy for Urza to slay these sneak attacking poisonous snakes with her sword. Have we come to Snake Island? Christy frowned. Maybe, apart from snakes, I didn't see any other species at all. Urza shrugged and looked around carefully. Chin Feng also noticed the strangeness of this island. There are only snakes on this island, poisonous snakes. Vipers of different styles, first to second order. But even a spider, scorpion, centipede and other poisonous substances were not seen. It seems that this island only breeds a species of venomous snakes. Russell. The footsteps of Chin Feng and his group made rustling sounds in the jungle. Suddenly, the silver treasure map in his hand burst into a ball of white light. The treasure is near here. Before Chin Feng finished speaking, the treasure map was burned by an invisible fire. Curl, drift, annihilate. When the treasure hunter approaches the treasure, the treasure map will disappear by itself. Chin Feng's treasure map is relatively simple, there are not so many twists and turns along the way. The difficulty of this type of treasure map lies in the first step to unlock the map. The other type does not need to be unlocked, but the process of exploring the treasure will be extremely tortuous and difficult. In short, it is not easy to search for treasures in the endless sea. A ray of light flashed across Qin Feng's sight. There. Qin Feng followed the direction of the light and ran quickly. Pushing aside the weeds half as tall as a person, they finally found the treasure they were looking for on this trip. The bright and radiant radiance flowed and reflected on everyone's face. It was a crystal crown with hollow carvings, and the exquisite and timeless texture showed the noble temperament. And those crystals inlaid on the crown, like the stars dotted in the sky, shone brightly, emitting a distant and mysterious magic light. The magic power in Christie's body actually resonated with this magnificent crystal crown. Obviously, the owner of this crystal crown was once a remarkable female mage. 
And the weird thing is. Holding up this noble and clear crystal crown is a blue-purple serpentine totem that has been eroded by wind and rain. One is a noble and pure thing, and the other is a symbol of malevolence and insidiousness. The crystal crown and the snake totem, these two very contradictory and inconsistent items are so calmly matched together. This strange picture is really puzzling and fascinating. An ancient and mysterious atmosphere immediately enveloped the hearts of Chin Feng and the others. Nice one. This radiant brilliance, the fluctuation of magic power. Ancient atmosphere, weird picture. All of them are revealing the rarity and mystery of the treasures. Qin Feng's eyes were shining, and he carefully held up the noble crystal crown. Dharma God crystal crown, gold quality. After thousands of years of grinding, the magic crystal in the crown still retains the amazing mana source of the great mage back then. Explanation, due to the special history of this crown and the erosion of long time, even if it is restored to its original state, it cannot be equipped. Gold quality. I really want to come here. The silver treasure map reveals gold items. Good luck. Even if it is repaired, it cannot be equipped. Qin Feng's eyes froze for a moment, and then a sneer appeared from the corner of his upturned mouth. Coincidentally, this crystal crown cannot be equipped, so it can be repaired and directly used as the fusion material of treasure. Qin Feng felt just now, it resonated with Christie's magic. Obviously, the fit between this crystal crown and Christie is very high. Used as the fusion material of the treasure, for Christie, the hero of the treasure, there must be a promotion. Qin Feng quickly put away the crystal crown, and waved to the two beauties under his command. There are many poisonous snakes here, so it is not suitable to stay for a long time. Take it when you see it. There are countless poisonous snakes on this remote island, and there is a risk of being attacked at any time. It doesn't matter that Qin Feng has the body protection of the Yellow Emperor's internal classic. But Christie and Urza have no ability to resist snake venom. If you are poisoned by a snake, you can only wait to die. Not to mention their powerful fighting power. After sailing together for a few days, Qin Feng still has a lot of affection for them. On the vast and dangerous sea, it is such a blessing to have mutual trust and companionship. Accompanying is not easy. At this moment, Qin Feng absolutely does not want to lose any of them. This is also the reason why he took the initiative to choose to protect the two of them when he came. What's more, summoning a hero is very face-saving. It is not yet known when the next hero of Qin Feng's fleet will appear. The new heroes did not come, and the existing heroes were folded in advance, which dealt a huge blow to the fleet's combat effectiveness. Especially in the critical period when the newcomer's secret practice is about to start. Qin Feng didn't dare to be careless. Thinking about it with his toes, he knew that there must be a gang in the novice sea territory that has conspired to deal with him. The trees are beautiful in the forest, but the wind will destroy them. But also look at, what kind of wind is this? What kind of wood is this? If it is the tree of Ling Yun. Qin Feng's eyes revealed a sense of confidence and firmness. No matter how the wind howls, the waves are turbulent, he will definitely not be able to shake his Ling Yun. Huh. Master Captain, look. Ursha was the queen, but accidentally discovered that the serpentine totem had quietly changed after losing the crystal crown. The snake totem seems to be changing. What? After hearing Ursha's reminder, Qin Feng turned back a few steps after leaving. The serpentine totem's eyes, which had been dull due to the wind and sun, gradually brightened. The slender and soft snake body shape of the totem reveals a purple cyan shimmer. It even gives people the illusion that it is slowly twisting and coming alive. This totem is so weird. Urza exclaimed. A charming and evil power contained in it is awakening and expanding. Christie said carefully, narrowing her eyes. It seems that the crystal crown I took away does not match the snake totem. Under the reminder of the two beauties, Qin Feng suddenly realized. He finally understood why the scene when he saw the crystal crown on the snake totem for the first time was so weird and inconsistent. Because they are inherently conflicting and contradictory. This crystal crown is the tongue that seals or suppresses the power of the snake totem. After Qin Feng took away the crystal crown, the snake totem lost its seal, and the power contained in it finally awakened. Although he could feel the ancient charm and evil power, Qin Feng didn't panic at all. Because no matter how that power awakens and expands, its power will be weakened by the fluctuation of the crystal crown's mana. 
As long as the crystal crown is in hand, no matter how terrifying the power of the snake totem is, Chin Feng and the others are worthy. It seems that the power in the snake totem has also discovered this. It quickly faded away. Instead, it was the radiant purple light that slowly condensed. A huge longbow covered with cyan scales hovered directly above the snake totem out of thin air. This is. Chin Feng could feel that the enchanting evil power that had been awakened just now seemed to have changed his arrogant and aggressive attitude. Instead, it turned into a magical longbow, as if asking for something from himself. Blue scale split bow, special item. Cannot be equipped. Description, the longbow armed with blue snake scales, the power of ancient gods is attached to it. Only when a special opportunity is triggered will the true power of this power be revealed. Special props. Can't equip it. Looks like it's temporarily unavailable. After Chin Feng browsed the information of this green scale split bow, he guessed that it was something similar to a quest item. In other words, Chin Feng has now accepted a hidden task, waiting for the trigger opportunity. It's really lucky to encounter such a strange thing and get two ancient fetishes. Chin Feng accepted the green scale splitting bow and smiled. He knew that this longbow was not the treasure indicated by the silver treasure map. It was a pure accident that Chin Feng accepted it together with the crystal crown. Pouring a treasure for nothing. The feeling of pie falling from the sky is really ecstatic. Crystal crown, cyan scale split bow. A flash of light suddenly flashed in Chin Feng's mind, linking these two objects wonderfully. He suddenly realized that two opposing objects appeared on this remote and strange island at the same time. Just like how many years ago, two extremely powerful masters, one wearing a mana crown and the other holding a blue scaled longbow, launched a decisive battle that shocked the world on this remote island in the sea. In the end, the two died together, leaving behind their own treasures. In the following thousands of years, they still suppress each other's residual breath. Chin Feng recalled that when he first saw this island, the broken form of ravines and ravines was quite strange. Not like nature, more like man-made. Now that I think about it, maybe it was the result of the sharp and vast fighting skills of the two ancient masters duel. The mana poured out like thousands of swords sweeping across, cutting a giant island into pieces. What a terrifying power. However, all of this was Qin Feng's fleeting guess. As for the truth, there is no way of knowing. But this broken snake island does hide an unknown past. The treasure is in hand, let's go back to the boat first. Quote. Qin Feng came back to his senses. Thinking about the safety of the two beauties, and improving the quality of the treasure. With a big wave of his hand, he motioned for Christy and Urza to follow him back. A group of three people turned back along the original road. Strange to say, after Chin Feng put on the crystal crown of the fashion, and the green scale split bow, there was no longer a snake blocking the way. It can also be vaguely found that in the deep jungle on both sides of the road, countless lurking poisonous snakes are lying on the ground one after another. It seems to be offering and worshipping. Or maybe it's a farewell. Traveling all the way, they soon returned to the bay where the fleet was docked. Both ships were unharmed. Urza jumped up and returned to the Kanglin Dragon Correction. As for Chin Feng, he boarded the comfortable treasure ship as usual. Captain, shall we set off now? Christy asked Chin Feng gently. Along the way, Chin Feng bravely took the lead to protect her and Urza. This made Christy's feelings for Chin Feng heat up again, Nuo Zhao Hao. Chin Feng looked at Christy whose cheeks were blushing, and the corner of her mouth curled into a mysterious arc. Wait, there is one more thing, let's do it now. What's the matter? Christy's eyes sparkled with curiosity. Chin Feng took out the shining gold quality prop, the crystal crown of the fashion. Of course I want to reward you, to improve the strength of you and treasure. Hearing this, Christy revealed a look of joy. Holding the crystal crown in his hand, Chin Feng meditated in his heart. System, restore the Dharma God's crystal crown. Repairing this item will consume 30,000 system points. Do you want to continue? 30,000 points. So much. Chin Feng felt a thump in his heart. This is the first time he has spent so many points at once. After surprise, there is indifference and joy. The system judges the points consumed for repairing an item should be based on the damage and value of the item itself. This crystal crown is still shining brightly, and the degree of damage is not exaggerated. Therefore, 
Judging from the point consumption reported by the system, it shows that the value of this crystal crown is extremely high. Continue. Chin Feng nodded. The point balance is 62,500 points, and the consumption point is 30,000, which is still rich. There is more than enough left for the treasure node to pick up products. I saw the crystal crown emitting a white light from the inside, which was extremely dazzling. Congratulations. The crystal crown of the fashion has been repaired. Along with the system prompt, the crystal crown has been restored to a perfect state. Waves of magic power fluctuated like ocean waves, wave after wave, spreading around. What a powerful source of magic! Christie exclaimed, looking at the crystal crown full of awe. It's a pity that even if the restoration is perfect, it can't fall. Otherwise, Chin Feng would be more than happy to directly present this crown to Christie to equip it. System, integrate the crystal crown of the fashion and the treasure number. Improve the quality. 850 gold quality props detected, and top quality ships. This fusion will consume 5,000 points, please confirm whether to continue. The system prompts a friendly reminder. Chin Feng is about to rush to answer. Continue. I have so many points, how could I not continue? With points, you can do whatever you want. Chin Feng suddenly became arrogant in front of the system. This feeling of spending money like water is really cool. At this time, the crystal crown of the fashion began to merge with the treasure. The crystal crown floated to the sky above the treasure by itself, spinning non-stop. Waves of mana fluctuations seemed to resonate with the treasure. Suddenly, the crystal crown slowly fell, blending with the treasure, blooming crystal light. The light lasted for a long time. Until the fusion process is completely complete. Ding. The fusion is complete. The quality of the ship has been improved. Congratulations. While improving the quality of the ship, the leaping evolution talent has been triggered. The configuration of the ship has been greatly improved. Brilliant quality, crystal rare, joins your ranks. Triggered the SSS level talent again. Brilliant quality. Chin Feng clenched his fists in excitement. Leng Chin Feng felt a pity that the last time the gunboat evolved to the Kanglin Dragon Flame, the talent of jumping evolution was not triggered. This time it really lived up to expectations and was successfully triggered. Treasure directly upgrades two qualities consecutively, rushing to brilliant quality. Make a profit. Skipping the stage of treasure quality will not only increase the strength of Qin Feng's fleet. It also directly saved a star quality item or a sea beast spirit. Star quality, what is the concept? Not only does it not exist in the novice sea area, even if you go to the outside world, there are many captains who have not seen Xingyao props for 3 to 5 years. Xingyao is a prop with a higher rarity than gold. Even in the current mainstream and powerful fleet, a captain who can equip two Xingyao props is a very extravagant. In the mainstream fleet, it is also unique. Star quality, one of Qin Feng's next goals. Not only do you have to arm yourself, but you also need to upgrade the Kanglin Dragon Flame, which is currently in the quality of a treasure. The quality of a treasure is already a height beyond the reach of billions of newcomers. However, Qin Feng was not satisfied. Get stronger. He did not forget that the Maudlin Undead Legion was right in front of him. I have not forgotten that my dream is to conquer the entire sea. Not enough, treasure quality warships are not enough. Qin Feng always maintains the passion to forge ahead. He was not complacent because of his temporary lead. Qin Feng knew that in the vast and dangerous endless sea, his opponents were not just newcomers of the same class. What he will face is all strong men, human emperors, beast lords, ancient demons. Countless thoughts flashed through his mind. After the last flash of light, the crystal rare revealed its true face. The slender and beautiful hull is dotted with dots of crystals, scattered and exquisite. Reflects the bright light. Like a beauty in a boat, luxurious and elegant. The treasure has transformed into the crystal rare, and the entire hull has been greatly optimized on the basis of the original. These changes made Qin Feng's eyes shine and he was very satisfied. He couldn't wait to check the panel properties of Crystal Rare. Ship name, Crystal Rare. Level, LB.4. CDFG quality, brilliant. Halo. Greedy Halo, the sea area where the Crystal Rare is located, the quality of materials in this area will be increased by one level. 
Magic Flow Halo Crystal Rare absorbs the magic of the sea area to replenish the mana value of the fleet members. The replenishment speed is related to the strength of magical creatures in the sea area. Skill. Advanced Salvage The salvage efficiency is three times that of the intermediate salvage. Elven Vision, you can view the distribution of material richness and average quality in the nearby sea area. Crew, Linlang, Female Elf 12, Crystal Female Elf 30, Senior Sailor 60, Maid 10, Chef Asterisk 2. Weapons, Brilliant Classics 12, Elf Treasure Book 30, Advanced Gun 60, Cat Ears 10, Cat Teaser. Cat Earrings and Cat Teasers. Chin Fung was shocked. When he found that the number of maids had increased to 10, he seemed to understand something instantly. In the next second, the hot blood in the veins of his whole body roared and rushed to his lower body. Cough cough. Chin Fung quickly shifted his attention to prevent himself from going mad. After calming down a little, Chin Fung set his sights on the attributes of the ship. In general, due to the influence of the magical resonance of the crystal crown, the Crystal Rare has evolved a second aura, the Magic Flow Aura. It can replenish mana for the crew, and belongs to the Auxiliary Aura. With Christie's Arcane Aura, it can increase the recovery of mana. Ship skills have also been upgraded to a certain extent. The Salvage skill has been upgraded to a high level, and the efficiency has been increased by three times. Qin Feng's road to becoming rich is getting wider and wider. The vision of the elves has also been upgraded from the positioning function to the ability to view the distribution of abundant materials, which helps Chin Feng make his own choices. Most amazing. Definitely a change of crew. The treasure fairy has evolved into two branch genres. Lin Lang female elf and crystal female elf. Chin Feng couldn't help but look around at the crystal rare. What did these fairies look like? I saw 12 female elves with fluttering blonde hair. They wore a thin, cool gauze skirt revealing a lot of smooth and tender skin. They are Linlang female elves. Chin Feng took a closer look, and the appearance of the twelve Linlang female elves was very familiar. He recognized that they were the original twelve treasure elves. The female elf who has an active personality and often approaches Chin Feng is also among them. Her pointed ears protruding from her beard are cute and playful. The face is as white as jade, the eyelashes are long and dense, and the lips are thin and ruddy, just like the bewitching cherry blossoms, which makes people want to possess her. Compared with before the evolution, the figure of Linlang female elf has become more plump and hot. The previous nimble and light figure has changed into plump and plump. The plump body with protruding front and back, in the thin gauze, the waves are turbulent, almost bursting out of it. To describe it in one word, that is, just right fat girl. At this moment, these voluptuous Linlang female elves were swaying in the waves, waving enthusiastically to Chin Feng. Who can stand this TM? The flame that Chin Feng managed to subdue with great difficulty rose to the sky again. Calm down. In broad daylight, don't lose your composure. He swallowed his saliva. Chin Feng forcibly calmed down and clicked on the attributes of the female elves. A light blue translucent light curtain floated in front of Chin Feng's eyes. Crew. Linlang female elf. Occupation. Mage. Grade third grade. Level. IV.3. Health volume. 1200. Magic 1500. Skill. Elf whisper. Use the charm of the elves to weaken the enemy's magic resistance for 120 seconds. Resistance reduction. 50%. Mana consumption. 100 points. Elven arrow. A long arrow made with elf magic, with physical and magical damage. Damage value, 300 points, magic consumption, 100 points. Evaluation, possesses a very high talent for comprehending elf magic, not only the mana becomes stronger, but also the body looks more plump. The grade has improved. Due to the extremely high talents of these 12 female elves, their blood volume and magic power have doubled. Their skills have also become mage-based, weakening magic resistance and single-target spells. Dare not say anything else. But in terms of the current rookies, the Linlang female elf can definitely defeat any fleet. The elven arrow with no cooling time, 300 points of damage, is a high amount of damage on the crew. Chin Feng knew the attributes of Linlang female elf clearly. Chin Feng also checked the female elves of another sub-genre, that is, the crystal female elves. Crew. Crystal fairy. Occupation. Explorer. Grade third grade. 
Level. IV.3. Health Volume. 700. Magic. 1400. Skill. Sense of treasures, significantly increase the treasure degree of materials obtained by exploration and acquisition, and consume 50 points of mana each time. Spirit healing, heal teammates injuries with clear and pure spirit breath. Healing amount. 100. Mana consumption. 100. Comment, with a breathtaking face, a light and graceful figure, and a gentle and skillful temperament, she is still the female elf of Vanves. The crystal female elf obviously continued the line of the treasure female elf. Focusing on auxiliary skills, the skills have been strengthened. And also added a healing skill. Elven healing. Chin Feng smiled happily. Finally a crew member with healing powers. Treatment has always been a concern for Chin Feng. Although he has a systematic repair function that can restore the crew's injuries, if encountering a war of attrition or a protracted war, injuries are frequent. Using the system to repair injuries is no different from burning money. What's more, all the points are spent on repairing injuries, which is too wasteful and not beneficial to Qin Feng's long-term development. Even, it will greatly delay the progress of Qin Feng's strength improvement. With these 30 female crystal elves who know how to heal, Qin Feng no longer has such worries. Combined with the arcane aura and the magic flow aura, their mana recovery speed is sufficient for the healing task. Even if it is a war of attrition and a protracted war, it is not a problem. Qin Feng smiled, improving the quality this time has really gained a lot. It is worth mentioning that the figure of the crystal elf still maintains her slender and graceful style. That is to say, with the emergence of the branch of the female elf profession genre. Their figures and dresses have also undergone branch changes, each with its own style. Chin Feng likes this setting very much. Beauty, look at it differently, it's more flavorful. The Linlang female elves and the crystal female elves laughed and jumped towards the captain Chin Feng. Just then, a gust of cold wind swept over. Like an arrogant barrier, these 42 female elves with top-notch looks and figures were separated from Chin Feng. Christy. Chin Feng turned his head to look, this icy mana didn't need to think, he knew it was Christy. However, Chin Feng was still amazed by Christy's delicate and sparkling dress. Christy's bare feet were like white jade, and she stepped on the deck step by step, with each step splashing a few snowflakes. She walked towards Chin Feng slowly. The ice blue robe in the shape of a shawl is dotted with stars like the Milky Way, shining brightly. The close-fitting, low-cut white clothes, the snow-white, delicate and deep snow-capped mountains, are ready to be seen, making any man unable to move his eyes away. Firmer, fuller and more lustrous. Walking across the hull with her chest held high, Christy scanned all the female elves on the crystal rare with her clear and noble eyes. Just this one glance, like the passage of winter, makes every female elf feel cold from the bottom of her heart. Everyone tacitly knew that this was Christie's warning. Or, declaring sovereignty. Her noble eyes and arrogant posture are silent announcements. Chin Feng, dear captain, belongs to Christie. Master captain. Christie saluted Chin Feng politely. Chin Feng looked up and saw Christie wearing a beautiful crown made of crystal. He recognized it at a glance, it was transformed from the crystal crown of the fusion material law god. It seems that the fusion materials that improve the quality will not only affect the evolution route of the ship, but also help the hero. Apparently this crystal crown changed Christie's mana like never before. And under the sparkle of the crystal decoration, Christie's already breathtakingly beautiful face is even more radiant. Plop, plop, plop. Chin Feng's heartbeat was fast and urgent, and the drumming boat hit his chest violently. Who wouldn't be moved by such a peerless beauty? Thanks to the care of the captain, Christy can be promoted to the third rank. Seeing Chin Feng staring straight at her, Christy's face immediately became hot. Perhaps because of her shyness, she wandered her eyes and said. This is my attribute, please take a look at it, captain. She blushed and raised her hand slightly. A ray of ice-blue magic breath floated faintly from the delicate and deep gully on her snow-white plump breasts. Chin Feng knew that it was Christy who was actively showing her panel attributes. But this time, Chin Feng smiled lightly. He unexpectedly raised his hand to wave away the icy blue aura, and then put one hand on Christy's plump chest. In order to prevent the ice-blue breath from continuing to float out. When the warmth of Chin Feng's palm was pressed against her chest, 
Christie still couldn't recognize it and exclaimed, Ah! But Chin Fung didn't take back his hand at all. He grinned, and the contours of the corners of his mouth outlined a trace of evil and domineering. I think, if I want to know you better, it might be more appropriate to go to your room. Master Captain, you. Christy couldn't understand the meaning of Chin Feng's words, and her cheeks were instantly on fire. Ching Li's eyes were covered with a layer of mist, and he lowered his head slightly, even the voice of speaking was inaudible. Her chest rose and fell violently, and Christy had a feeling of being completely controlled by Chin Feng. She nodded. In return for your kindness, and... And you are my captain, what do you say about me, I? I can only obey. Chin Feng saw that Frost Beauty had become so shy and cute at this time, and his delicate appearance made him unable to extricate himself. Repay. Obey. Chin Feng joked indifferently. Before he finished speaking, he suddenly hugged Christy and hugged her whole body. Ah. Master Captain. Suddenly being lifted up, Christy, who had never experienced anything like this, screamed. Chin Feng became even more excited when he heard this sweet and soft scream. Under the shy and greedy gaze of the female elves around him, he strode straight to carry the beauty in his arms into the bedroom. Christy was thrown directly onto the bed. Chin Feng bent down. He raised Christy's chin with one hand, their noses touched together, and asked. Are you treating me really just to repay the kimono? Getting along these days, Chin Feng naturally knows what Christy means to him. But he wanted to ask this question on purpose. The arrogant frost beauty in front of me should admit it with her own mouth. Only by crushing her emotional iceberg can I truly have all of this woman. Christy struggled to lower her head, trying to avoid Chin Feng's sight. However, Chin Feng firmly hooked her chin, she couldn't escape. Only the glamorous cheeks became hotter and rosier. Chin Feng has enough perseverance and patience to give Christy enough time to struggle. I, I would like to. Willing to do, anything for you. Christy muttered falteringly. She had already fallen in love with Chin Feng. Also longing to be his first woman. It's just that the nature of the noble female mage makes it hard for a frosty beauty like her to speak out. Here, in this cozy room, under the delicate atmosphere, her heart is gradually yielding. Her coldness and arrogance are gradually melting under Chin Feng's fiery gaze. Christy blushed, and unconsciously twisted slightly. Captain, I, I like you. Please. Um, please give me. Christy's eyes were foggy, her face was flushed, mouth was orchid, she was talking and begging to Chin Feng delicately. That's right. Chin Feng smiled charmingly, leaned forward violently, and kissed Christy's fragrant lips deeply. The bright moon hangs high tonight, and the spring night is like a dream. The cold moonlight fell on the calm and quiet sea, like a layer of white gauze. On the moonlit sea, there is only a luxurious and beautiful treasure ship, and the sound of happiness is faintly transmitted. The stars in the sky are dotted with bright eyes, as if they are curiously exploring something. The treasure ship swayed violently in the sea, raising waves and splashing, messing up the mirror-like sea surface. A cloud drifted past, and the curious stars in the sky closed their eyes shyly. All night passed. It wasn't until the dawn was approaching and the moonlight fell again that everything gradually calmed down. It was noon. Amidst the seabird's melodious name, Chin Feng rubbed his sleepy eyes. Aha! With a bit of bewilderment, he yawned and stretched long. He looked up at the clock on the wall. It's one o'clock noon. Chin Feng was stunned for a moment. This was the first time he slept until the sun was up. Tossed a little too much last night. Chin Feng recalled the scene of the whole night last night, feeling emotional. If he hadn't been born with a strong body, his body would definitely not be able to take it after this night of tossing. Chin Feng is just a normal sleep supplement. After all, he only braked at dawn. Chin Feng looked down at the position beside him. Christie's blonde hair was like a waterfall, flowing on the crumpled pillow from last night. The white quilt wrapped her body tightly. With her eyes closed and her thin lips parted slightly, Christy was sleeping soundly and sweetly. Last night, she was also extremely tired. Chin Feng looked at Christy with eyes full of doting. Have a good rest. Chin Feng talked to himself, got out of bed quietly, and tidied himself up. Just when I was about to gently push the door and go out. The sudden notification sound resounded through my mind. Congratulations on your union with the hero Christy, 
750, and the Blood Fusion. You have been recognized by the Blue Heart Glacier region and the Ice Wizard forces. The Ice Wizard forces are friendly to you plus one oh. Friendship stage, inheritance, and other good things. Have a relationship with heroes and be recognized as relatives. Will he be recognized by the background forces of heroes because of this? This is also understandable, after all, once there is a relationship between husband and wife, everyone is a family, and they are on their own. Chin Feng was overjoyed. I originally just wanted to take down Christy and go to the fire. But I didn't expect that I was also taken care of by a certain force by the way. Frost Wizard Forces. Well, that fits well with Christy's spell abilities. It seems that it is either Christy's family, or the line of the teacher who taught the skills. In short, to be able to raise a powerful female mage like Christy, the Ice Wizard must have extraordinary strength. Chin Feng stared at the name of this unfamiliar force, he had never heard of this force during his study in the Shengxia Empire. Blue Heart Glacier. Perhaps in the cold north of the sea. Chin Feng recalled that to the north of the Endless Sea, there was a glacier area comparable in size to the Divine Fortune Empire. It is impassable for ships and the climate is so harsh that people hardly set foot in the area. Maybe, the Blue Heart Glacier is a sanctuary of the glacier's wreckage, and the Ice Wizard lives in seclusion there. After pondering and guessing for a while, Chin Feng had some clues. In short, if you have a chance in the future, you have to pay a good visit. With such a powerful force behind him, no matter what kind of troubles you encounter in the sea, you don't dare to mess around, do you? Although Chin Feng believes in his own strength, he will not be manipulated by others. But the sea is so big that strong people emerge in large numbers. Are you sure that you will encounter an old monster far beyond your own level before you complete your development? It is better to be thorough in doing things. Moreover, the power of the endless sea, the degree of hatred and friendship, are all the laws of the will of heaven. Throughout the ages, countless top powerhouses have all achieved maritime hegemony with the help of forces. It can be seen how important it is for the fleet to have the support of one party. Don't be in vain. Chin Feng made a plan and pushed open the door. I saw several maids in uniform waiting respectfully outside the door, and the nutritious brunch has been prepared. Chin Feng was not used to such thoughtful service for a while. And the other crew members on board are working in an orderly manner. And the female elves all looked very strange, and they secretly glanced at Chin Feng from time to time. With a bit of shyness. Chin Feng was puzzled, what happened to these pure and lively female elves? Several plump female elves whispered quietly. Wow, Captain Chin Feng's body is awesome. He was in such good spirits after working so hard last night. Yeah, Master Captain is too strong. It's not just that, it stopped at dawn after a whole night of tossing. It's only been a few hours. You see, our Captain is alive and well again. Don't talk about it. I'm looking forward to it. Our boat rocked all night, and I didn't sleep well. Chin Feng didn't realize how much shock he caused last night. At this moment, the puppet in front of her held up a box of milk and waved it in front of Chin Feng's eyes. She said with a smile on her face. Captain, you worked hard last night. Master Captain, please replenish your nutrition in time. Chin Feng showed an embarrassed yet polite expression. Um, novice sea territory. A small isolated island extremely far away from Chin Feng's fleet. Dozens of fleets met secretly. In the harbor on the shore, there are ships with different shapes, which rise and fall with the waves, and there are a variety of things to see. Looking around, there are ships from class to B class. But the quality, there is no warship that is higher than the high quality goods. After all, since entering the beginner sea, only Chin Feng has obtained the sea beast essence alone. It was also taken away by Nangong Chengfeng at auction. The warships of other captains are still of the initial quality, how high can they be? If the quality is not enough, take advantage of the quantity. On the small isolated island, the group of captains sat in a circle, discussing how to deal with Chin Feng. Brother Satu, is this method feasible for you? The voice of Chin Feng is very high in the rookie world now, let's do this. What are you afraid of? You won the treasure chest of the secret realm and your strength has greatly increased. Do you still care about others' rejection? Brother Satu, are you sure you can handle Chin Feng by doing this? All eyes were on a well-groomed thin boy. 
He is the son of the aristocratic family, Satu Yan. It is also the call of this isolated island meeting. According to the usual practice, this year it was his Satu family's turn to win the final reward of the newcomer's secret realm, the golden treasure box. This is an unspoken rule among big families. Instead of fighting with all your strength, it is better to set a rule and everyone take turns to get it. Anyway, this treasure chest is monopolized by the big family, and it is just allocated internally. This is quite in line with the style of the big family. However, who would have thought that this year it was finally the turn of Situ's family to harvest the golden treasure chest, but Situ Yan had the misfortune to meet such a heaven-defying guy as Qin Feng. From the first day, break the records of the emperor, summon heroes, and kill the goblin base. Where is this TM something that a rookie can do? The secret realm for newbies is about to open, and the golden treasure chest is about to lose its hold. If the treasure chest is taken by others, it will not only be his Satu Yan's loss, but also the entire Satu family's loss. Even the things that the big family has monopolized for hundreds of years can't be kept, the Satu family will definitely lose face in the big family circle in the future. The red-eyed Satu Yan asked around and found these dozens of captains who were dissatisfied with Qin Feng. Some are because of the jealousy of Qin Feng's strength. Some are because of the girls who have had a crush on them for a long time, and are overwhelmed by Qin Feng's charm, and feel jealous. Some were angry at Qin Feng for no reason because they were too slow to grab the black iron equipment consigned by Qin Feng in the trading section. All in all, they all hope that Qin Feng can overturn in the next newcomer mystery. Thus making them happy. Although they all had the idea of attacking Qin Feng, none of them could do it. One is the strength of the Qin Feng fleet, which is well known in the novice circle. How do these shrimp soldiers and crab generals compete with the giant dragon? Secondly, the novice sea area prohibits infighting between captains, violators may lose their qualifications as captains, which will undoubtedly destroy their future. None of them were stupid enough for that. Therefore, many captains sitting here questioned Satu Yan's plan. Satu Yan stood up with his frail and thin body, as if he would fall down when blown by the wind. With such a sickly appearance, it is really difficult to gain the trust of others. He didn't care about other people's doubts at all, and said mysteriously. Since you can't trust me, as a sincerity of cooperation, I'll make an exception and reveal to you some, higher level confidential information. Upon hearing this, the captains present all stretched their necks and widened their eyes. Highly classified information. That's not something you can hear anywhere. Everyone held their breath and listened attentively. Satu Yan showed satisfaction when he saw everyone's eagerness for knowledge. After satisfying everyone's appetite, he said calmly. Once upon a time, there was a human emperor who fell on this method. Human emperor. Has the emperor been recruited? It seems that brother Situ's plan is reliable. Satu Yan smiled slyly. Even the emperor capsized, do you think Qin Feng will be safe and sound? Thanks for watching.